Hi, I'm Megan Walker and this is the letter O in the A to Z of real-time marketing. And this one is all about outbound consent. So this one's a little bit different to maybe some of the other ones because what we're actually looking at is a change to the settings area for something that is now part of just outbound marketing. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at and see what this is all about and how we go in and change our settings. Okay, so let's go ahead and jump in. So the first thing we're going to do is if we go and we look at um, a contact record within Dynamics 365, Okay, so there's going to be two things that previously, if you had ever set up data protection and a GDPR record in your Dynamics 365 marketing, this would be something that you should be aware of. So you didn't have to use this, but if I go into the details tab and I scroll down, we can see here we've got this data protection area and we have the ability to use that consent list. So this consent given, you could add it to um, a form using the consent field. And this was basically just asking sort of what level of consent is someone giving in terms of, are you just sending them transactional messages? Are you allowing them to send you subscriptions, regular marketing emails or, or whatever? So this field right here, and then also, if I just go into the related and scroll down to GDPR consent change records, you also had the ability to set and say whether you wanted to log changes to the GDPR consent. So this would be any time either somebody internally, like a user of Dynamics, was changing somebody's level of consent or whether they were the contact was changing it themselves by doing it on um, a form that had that as a field. So we can see here that we've got a change that was made um, and that it was made by me. So those two things, again, in Dynamics 365 marketing, prior to having real-time marketing, those things you would set up your GDPR record in the data protection and you would basically say, do you want to use this and are you wanting to have change tracking? All right, so if I now go into the settings area, what we've got is a slightly different approach in terms of how compliance in general is handled because there's compliance for text messages and emails with real-time marketing, Microsoft have moved things around a little bit. So I'm gonna go into the compliance area. And within the compliance area, we've now got a couple of different tabs. And now what we've got is this outbound consent. This outbound, con out, outbound consent tab is all about the, now the, um, the outbound marketing area. So we've got these two things. We've got the enable minimum consent level selection drop down for customer journeys. And then we've also got log consent changes. Now, if I had this set up and I actually had a GDPR record, which I did, I just happened to change this the other day. But if I um, hadn't adjusted it, so let's say you go ahead and you get the update, you install real-time marketing, if you have your GDPR record, these will be set to yes. You won't need to do anything. You wouldn't need to come in here. However, if you didn't have it set up and then you wanted to start using it, you would have to come in here and you would change it from no to yes. So it's essentially not new functionality at all. It's just a slightly different change to where now you would set this up or where your previous settings now are actually going to be moved into. Um, so this enable the minimum consent level selection drop down for customer journeys. It also applies to lead scoring as well. Um, so just keep that in mind. This is now where it is. If you need to change it, turn it off, turn it back on again. This is where you'll go to find it. Nothing really that exciting, but wanted you to be aware that outbound marketing, the consent levels now are, are found here in under compliance in the settings area. That's where you'll go to change stuff. That's it. Hi, I'm Megan Walker. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and that you learned something from it. If you don't want to miss out on any other content, you can go ahead and click on my face below to subscribe. And if you want to watch the next video, you can do that by clicking over here and go ahead and get started. Thanks again.